In this video, I'm going to talk about how to do a smart state analysis for virtual machines that reside on RevM providers. First of all, let's talk about some of the requirements for the data stores. Uh, if you have an NFS data store, the Manage IQ server must be able to mount that data store. If you're using iSCSI or FCP, Manage IQ will leverage the direct LUN disk to connect to each of those storage domain LUNs. A Manage IQ appliance must reside on each data center with the iSCSI FCP storage type. And on each Manage IQ appliance that will be performing the smart state analysis, you will need a shareable non-bootable direct LUN disk attached for each of the iSCSI and FCP storage domains. If you, once you attach that um, direct LUN disk, you either need to run PV scan or just restart the entire appliance to get it to be recognized. And I'd also like to note that only one virtual machine <clears throat> or Manage IQ appliance can be connected to any LUN at any one time. The next step occurs actually inside of the Manage IQ console. You will need to do what's called adding a server relationship so that Manage IQ knows that this virtual machine that it found out on your RevM data center is a Manage IQ appliance. So what you're going to do is I'm going to go to my uh, RevM provider and I'm using this great way to just drill down into it to VMs and I'm going to find my actual Manage IQ appliance. And select it. Now that I'm in its what we call summary screen, I'm going to go to configuration, uh, edit management engine relationship, and I've already selected it here, but this is the point where you would select the name of your Manage IQ appliance, and I had named it Manage IQ Demo. So that's taken care of. Also recall that you need to have uh, your hosts have to have valid credentials and under configure configuration you need to have um, enabled the smart proxy server role those were covered in other videos so now that I have done all of this I can now go and I'm gonna go back to my provider because this is a great way to get to see all my virtual machines I'm gonna do a check all because I want to run a smart state analysis on all of these. And I will go to configuration, perform smart state analysis. And it will begin the smart state analysis on all of these items. To see the progress of a smart state analysis, you can go to look at the tasks list. So I'll do configure tasks and I can see my VM analysis tasks. Now, these are ones that I ran previously to see the status of the ones I just ran. I'll reload this. It'll take a little bit for it to get started on them. And okay, you can see it's waiting to start. It'll get started and then I'll go through doing all of these. One of the great things about this task list is I can just click on the row for a VM. So let's uh, just grab one. I can click on it and click right through into the summary screen for this particular virtual machine. The great thing about smart state analysis is it gives you a lot more in-depth information on the virtual appliance as opposed to just its power state and some basic information in the properties, you will get data store allocation. Um, you'll also get to see, obviously, its uh, smart state analysis, pro uh, if, if they've been completed, configuration, security, uh, boot, and changes. So it gives you a lot more information than just um, the, the basics there. Okay, and 
All right, so as utilization starts to happen, I will get information there for capacity and utilization. And that is how you run smart state analysis on RevM virtual machines.